Are you looking for books to enhance your cloud architect career? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with about 25 years experience, and I've held every architecture role you can think of. Things like network architect, security architect, cloud architect, enterprise architect. And in this video, we're going to talk about 10 of my favorite books now uh, for cloud architects. And I'm going to tell you why I like these books. Now, in this video, they're predominantly technical books. And in another video, I'll talk more about the leadership books that I like for cloud architects as well. But this is going to be about technical publications and one or two that are not technical, maybe even three, but they're still relatively technical compared to other books that would assess, say, cloud architect leadership. Now, of the list of 10, I'm going to begin with number one, and it's The Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing by David Lithicum. It's by David Lithicum. I don't need to say much more than that. But here's the key. David does an extremely good job in this book separating uh, cloud computing reality from all the mythology surrounding cloud computing. And for that, I highly recommend this book for any cloud architect or even cloud engineer for that matter. Now, I'm going to get into my first of the technical publications, and it's called TCP IP Illustrated, and it's by Richard Stevens. Now, this is a relatively old book, but it will explain the TCP IP protocol. You'll understand the internet protocol. You'll understand TCP. You'll understand UDP. And because the network is critical to all cloud and all cloud architectures, I highly recommend this book. If you don't understand IP networking, there's no architecture in the world that can ever work. And at least understanding the internet protocol, you'll get a great learning out of this from the Richard Stevens book, TCP IP Illustrated. Now, this next book is one of my favorite books. I've read it probably 25 times. I have recommended it to thousands over the years. And it's called Internet Routing Architectures from Bassam Halabi. Uh, early in his career, he went by Bassam Halabi. Later in his career, he chose to call himself Sam Halabi. Uh, but this book, every CCI is read it, and it covers BGP in pretty much every architectural scenario you could possibly think of. And since uh, anytime we're connecting to clouds or using any of the tools on clouds, we need to understand BGP as cloud architects and need to understand it really well. Uh, this book, uh, Internet Routing Architecture from Sam Halabi, will get you covered. Now, the next two are going to be data center books, and I'm going to tell you why. All cloud computing is is a virtualized network and a virtualized data center, so you really need to know the data center. And these next two books are actually from Cisco Press, and I chose Cisco Press for these two, as Cisco Press is always good about making sure you understand the technology, not only how to configure this. Now for the architects, I'm not concerned about people's knowledge of configuration, but I am very concerned about their knowledge of the network and the data center. So these two books can be very helpful for you. Now, the first one is called uh, CCNP and CCIE Data Center Core. And that's uh, from Brad Edgeworth and others. Uh, and that will really help give you basic understanding of data center technologies. And that's going to be absolutely critical to a cloud architect or even a solutions architect, especially because the cloud technologies like a virtual machine are the same virtual machines we have in the data center, the same Kubernetes infrastructure within the data center we have in the cloud, same block storage from the data center we have in the cloud. In any cloud migration, you take the stuff from the data center and move it to the cloud. So this is going to make sure you understand what that underlying stuff is, that data center stuff. So the CCNP and CCI data center core. Now here, this one I start to really like, and it's the Cisco Certified Design Expert Official Cert Guide by Zig Zigza. And I hope I didn't uh, mispronounce that last name. It's spelled Z-I-G for the first name in Z-S-I-G-A. Now, this is really a great book on architecture. It covers architectural principles. It covers network architecture, uh, cloud architecture to a degree, data center architecture, zero trust, and some basic architectural frameworks. So that's quite good for building those network and data center and design foundations for the architect. Now, this next book that I like is uh, from O'Reilly, and it's uh, written predominantly by Brendan Burns, but others as well, and that's called Designing Distributed Systems. And let's face it, it covers distributed systems. And what is cloud architecture? It's often a distributed system, systems that are set out all over. So 
I tend to like that book as it gives you some uh, intro level knowledge on distributed systems. Now, another intro level architecture book is called uh, Architecting the Cloud, Design Decisions for Cloud Computing Service Models. And that's written by predominantly Michael uh, Kavis. And uh, that's a nice book. It gives you some very basic uh, intro level architecture fundamentals and things to think about. It's uh, fairly credible in what it is. So I tend to like that book. Now, the next book that I really like is written by Mike Chappelle. If you've ever written any of Mike Chappelle's work in security, it's legendary. And he actually has it written a CISSP official, official publication, official guide. I highly like that because this guide kind of covers at an intro level every element of security. And it even does a fairly good job of describing some of the underlying technologies we actually have in cloud computing. And it's a very easy book to read. It uh, makes you think about all the things you need to think about in security. And I tend to like that because it covers some basic security. Now, enhancing our needs in security because security is becoming very critical. I actually like this book called In Zero We Trust. And it is all about zero trust. Again, it's another Cisco Publications book. Uh, it's, uh, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it for learning zero trust and what it is and what it is. And it's quite nice. And then the next uh, book I'm going to recommend is a little bit of guidance onto what is architecture. And these, again, are very basic books on architecture, but they give you a good starting point. They separate the business from the tech to what we do to make it clearer with what we do. So uh, this first one is going to be called Enterprise Architecture as a Strategy, Creating a Foundation for Business Execution. And that's written predominantly by G Gene Ross and Peter Ville. Uh, my apologies if I mispronounced those names, but I really highly recommend this. It's a very good book. Uh, it teaches you a little bit about architecture and what we're talking about here. And it's a very good intro to architecture. And then uh, the last one I'm going to say is another intro architecture book uh, to really help you understand what is architecture. And that's going to be called An Introduction to Enterprise Architecture, third edition from Scott Bernard. Now, these 10 books I listed here will help really boost your cloud architect knowledge, your security architect knowledge, and they will be a great complement to whatever type of solid cloud architecture you're actually training in. Now, these are predominantly the technical list, and obviously architecture is a two-thirds business and a one-third tech, but this should help you understand uh, better some of the underlying technology components to your cloud architect career or solutions architect career. If you'd like to become a cloud architect or a solutions architect or a security architect or an AI architect or an enterprise architect, join us for a free architecture webinar where we'll go over, say, the cloud architect role or enterprise architect role or security architect role. We'll talk about what we do in our jobs as architects. We'll talk about the skills you need to be a cloud architect versus a security architect versus an AI architect. And then we usually leave about an hour to an hour and a half live and free on Zoom to answer any career questions you have. So please join us in a free architecture webinar. You can sign up for them in the link in the description of this video. I also want to tell you this, that uh, we've got guides on how to win the enterprise architect, how to win the interview, guides on how to become an enterprise architect or how, how to become a cloud architect or how to become an AI architect, uh, all kinds of guides to assist you in your cloud architect career, enterprise architect career, security architecture career, and they're all free. So they're in the description of this video. Check them out and maybe sign up for some. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your IT architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.